Hi hey y'all, she was seven. Yes, my voice is a mess. I'm sorry. I'm not sick. I just, my throat was irritated by something yesterday outside. Some stuff fell out of a tree and I inhaled it by accident. And here I am. Okay. So, someone asked me to do a video topic. <clears throat> they asked me a question. I'm going to put this in my mouth so it's not so bad. Ask me a question. Their living boyfriend is hanging out too much with some friends that she doesn't like. One guy in particular that she does not like. In the past, this guy has influenced her boyfriend to move out. And he didn't even discuss it with her. She just like came home one day and he was gone, packed all this stuff. But then he came back later. But her concern is <clears throat> that she doesn't like this guy. He has influence over her boyfriend. And he just so happens to be gay. And his other two friends are straight. She doesn't want him hanging around him. And she also says that she knows it's wrong, but she likes to be with her boyfriend 24 hours a day, seven days a week. She doesn't like to be alone or lonely. She wants to be with him all the time. And he leaves her a lot to go out and hang out with these guys. And she'll call him and he won't come back. And she'll nag him the whole time that he's gone on the phone. And she knows that she shouldn't be doing that. But she just wants to be with him. And plus, she's concerned about this other guy that has this influence on him who's gay, okay? She, where she lives, she doesn't have any, like, friends to hang out with. Or, you know, she didn't have her own, you know, group of friends to hang out with. So, she's kind of left by herself. Um, she's an attractive woman, so that's not about, you know, looks or anything. So, she wants to know my advice that I would give to her and how to stop him from hanging out with these friends. And what should she do? And if it ever happened to me, like in my in my past, <clears throat> in a relationship, if it's long term, like if you've been with this person for like a long time, and they want to hang out with their friends and not you, and they want to hang around, like have boys night or whatever. Um. If you're not married, you can't really stop them from doing what they want to do. They're going to do it anyway. Um, they don't want to feel like they're controlled or trapped. And sometimes they just want to get away from you. <laughs> because if you're with somebody all the time, you can't miss them. You can't appreciate them. You can't, you know, sometimes it's just too much and you need space. And... When I was younger, I was like that. I was just like that when I was younger. I wanted to be around my boyfriend all the time. I didn't care about hobbies. I didn't care about other people. I just wanted to be with them, right? And that's sweet. But men don't think like women. Men don't think like that. They need space. They need all that stuff. They need um, to be able to do what they want to do. They don't want to be smothered. Um, their feelings are not as emotional as yours, you know. So they're not going to be wanting to do that with you 24-7. Now the whole issue with the gay friend who has influence over him. I wouldn't trust that. I wouldn't trust it at all because... First of all, why is why are two straight guys hanging out with a gay guy um, together at a bar? And why is the gay guy giving your boyfriend the relationship advice? There could be some hidden agenda there on his side of things. And there's nothing wrong with having gay friends. But... If this person has a strong influence over your boyfriend and can get him to move out of your apartment and who hangs around him, who doesn't like you, 
I mean, there's something there. He has a crush on your man, okay? He might be cool. He might be nice. He might be buying your man drinks. He might be doing all kind of stuff that you can't see because you're not there. So you might just have to put the law down, okay? Sometimes you got to put the law down. And she also said that she gets so mad and angry and says bad things to him and makes him cry and all that kind of stuff too. <laughs> Which is funny because, you know, <clears throat> I used to do the same thing. You know when men start paying attention to you, when you stop nagging, when you stop calling, when you stop talking, when you ignore them, when you don't even text or call them anymore. You can live in the same house as somebody. If you don't care what time they come in, if you don't ask where they're going, who they're going with, if you don't care anymore and you just stop asking and you just stop everything, you don't call, you don't text, you don't ask him where he's been when he gets home, you just click the TV, you just lay on the couch and watch TV, and you just go, hey, and you just stop. Do this for like a week, okay? And it's going to be hard if you're used to nagging him all the time and wanting to be with him all the time and yelling at him all the time for hanging out. Stop all together. And he's going to stop and notice this. He's going to be like, oh my God, why is she yelling at me anymore? Why doesn't she ask me where I've been? Why doesn't she care? What's going on? You know, this is going to get his attention. The nagging, the yelling, the making him cry, that's just going to make him want to go out more. There's a song, I think it's by R. Kelly. It's called When a Woman's Fed Up. There's nothing you can do about it. The first sign that a woman is fed up is that she will stop nagging you and calling you and texting you. He has to know you're serious because as long as you are emotionally involved, he knows he's got you and that he didn't have to change. Once you stop being emotionally involved, he's going to notice gonna say oh my god she hasn't called me in three hours she usually blows up my phone oh my god she hasn't texted me all day and it's almost tomorrow or you know I'm I've been out for five hours and she hasn't even texted me once to ask me where I was who I was with what is she doing now he's gonna be wondering about you now his mind is on you okay now his mind's on you what is she doing maybe she went somewhere maybe she's meeting somebody else maybe she's Look, found another man. Maybe she found a friend. Maybe she had a car accident. Let me call her. You know, you have to stop everything. Give him a reason to think about you. Give him a reason to miss you. Give him space to wonder where you are. Make his mind not focus on his friends, but why you're not calling. <laughs> okay? That's the good thing about being crazy and calling and blowing up people's phones and wanting to be with them all the time. When you stop cold turkey altogether, it will get their attention quick. And when he comes home, he's like, you know, you've been distant lately. How come you never call me or text me and ask me where I've been or whatever? You just say, well, because I don't care anymore. And he's going to be like, what do you mean you don't care anymore? I'm like, you know, you're a grown man. You can do what you want to do. You can hang out with whoever you want to hang out with, you know. I'm not going to stop you anymore. That's what's make, if that's what makes you happy, go do it. I really don't have anything to say about it anymore. You know exactly how I feel about it. And you ignore it. So that tells me that you don't value my opinion. So just go do your thing. I'm fine. I'm, I'm going to do, you know, <clears throat> I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. When the girl says, don't worry about me, worry about her. Just go, go hang out with your friends. I don't care. You know? And be like, okay. And he'll go hang out with his friend. You sure? You want me to bring something back? You know, he's going to be all concerned now. And it's no, don't worry about it. I'm going to go grab something to eat. You know, I'll go out and get me something to eat. What do you mean you're going to go out and get you something to eat? Where are you going to go? I don't know. And just be like annoyed with him. I don't know. Like, hurry up. Like, I don't know. 
I'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. Okay. Well, we're going to be, then he's going to start volunteering information. Well, we're going to be at such and such, and I'll probably be home about 10. I'm like, okay, well, whatever. And then he'll walk out the door. And the next time he'll be like, well, um, so what did you go do? Now he's asking about you. And I'm like, I, I don't know. I, I forgot the name of the place, you know. And he'll be like, okay, well, I'm going to go hang out, and I'll be back. And then this time he'll be back earlier, okay? I'll be back around 9 or She's like, you know, it, you don't have to come home early for me. Don't worry about it. Go do what you do. I'm like, okay. Well, what are you going to do? I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll figure it out, you know. Um, <laughs> I don't know, you know. But if I go, but, and, and then you'll say, it's like, but, um. Uh, I'm probably not going to do anything. I'm just probably going to lay around the house or whatever and relax. But you go ahead and you go have fun. I say it like that. And then, like, the next time, <clears throat> they're really going to start to want to talk to you. They're going to be like, okay, so what's going on? Why aren't you, you know, how, how come you haven't yelled at me for hanging out and blah, 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 blah. You haven't said anything. You haven't cared that I've come in late, da, 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 da. You know, are you, did you still love me? Are you still into me? And I'm like, yeah, I still love you. What do you mean? Because, like, uh, last week you were just all over me and nagging me and calling me 50 times a day. Now you don't call me at all. Blah, 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 blah. It's like, well, I just got tired of you not answering the phone or caring what I was saying. You know, I just got tired of it. Just, you know, once you do something over and over and over, you don't get the response you want. You just, you know, you give up. You give up. Use the words give up. You just give up. And I'm like, huh. And so he's going to start to feel how you feel. He's going to be like, oh, really? Yeah, okay. And so, and you know, and then, like, he's going to start pulling back. He's going to start spending more time with you. He's going to be like, yeah, you're right. I do hang out too much. You know, I didn't realize how much I hung out. Blah, 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 blah. And plus, the guys are always like, why are you always checking your phone and, what you, your girl has to call in, in two hours. That's a world record. I wonder what she's doing. Now they're making him paranoid that you're doing something because you haven't called him. <laughs> so you got you to gotta just cut back all the way to get his attention. And if that fails, if he's still going to do what he's going to do and leave you at home and not even ask about or care, then you know what? You tell him. Well, I'm going to start hanging out too. Um, every night that you go out, I'm going to go out. And I'm going to go out by myself because I don't have any friends. And I don't like being alone. So the solution to our problem is say our problem. It's when you go out, for me to go out. And if you go out when he goes out, he's going to be paranoid that you're going to meet somebody better than him. And he's going to stop hanging out with his friends and he's going to start hanging out with you again. If you put that in his mind, that you're going to go start hanging out alone. He is going to fear that you are going to meet a better man than him. And dump him. <laughs> and he's not going to, if he really wants to be with you, he's not going to let that happen. You know? And then, like, if you want to, you know, find out if he's bisexual or gay or whatever, you just need to ask him, look, I know you're close with your friend. I know he's gay. But don't you think he has a crush on you? Don't you think that it's wrong for you to lead him on and be there knowing that he has a crush on you and you're supposedly, say supposedly, you're supposedly straight? <clears throat> what do you mean supposedly? Well, I don't know because you spend more time with him than you do me. And leave it like that. And say, well, I'm going out so y'all have fun. And just go out. And see what happens. You know? Don't play a victim. Play someone with a strategic plan. <laughs> and see what happens. And let me know how it goes. Try it. Let me know how it goes, and I'll see y'all later. All right. Oh, help the help.
help her answer answer what you think she should do in the comments, y'all, okay?